Welcome to EDO Arrow Classroom. In this tutorial, we will see what is trigonometric function and some trigonometric identities. Let us discuss what is trigonometric function. Trigonometric functions are also known as trigonometric ratios. Let us have a look on these four graphs. First, we will see this graph. There is a graph having axis x and y, and we have an angle over here that is x o a, which is defined as theta. And there is a point on OA that is known as P, and we have drawn a perpendicular over X from P. That is, this point is known as M. The distance from this point to this point is not divided by X. This is X and this is Y. This, this is known as X. This distance is X. This distance is Y. Now, from these following graphs, we will compute the various trigonometric ratios. First ratio is sin theta which is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse one more thing this flat area is known as uh, hypotenuse this perpendicular is known as perpendicular and this is the base this is known as base now we here sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon base upon hypotenuse perpendicular is equivalent to y and hypotenuse is r so sin theta is equal to y by r second ratio is cos theta Cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse, that is B over H. Here base is X and hypotenuse is R. Next ratio is tangent. Tangent of theta or this is also known as, in short, tan theta, which is equal to perpendicular upon base, C upon B, that is Y, P is y b, b is x cosecant next issue is cosecant theta in short this is known as cosec of theta which is is equal to hypotenuse upon perpendicular is equal to r by y next is second of theta which is also known as sec theta in short which is equal to hypotenuse over base is equal to r by x cotangent of theta is equal to p over b which is equal to x upon y so these are some trigonometric ratios the value of x and y may be negative or positive depending upon the depending upon the position of angle where this angle is located so, uh, we have four graphs in which different values of theta is shown. So, uh, according to the value of theta, the value of these ratios will be changed, either negative or positive. There is a simple rule to learn these formulas. That is, Pandit, Padri, Prasad, Har, Har, Boy. This P is Pandit. This is a uh, shortcut for learning. This is basically Badri, Prasad, Prasad, Prasad. This is Har, Har, Boy. Now, how can how can we remember this ratio by this rule? P B T over H H B. Start computing over here. First ratio is this over this is sin theta. This over this is cos theta. And this over this is this is d tan theta. To find cosec theta, just do the inverse of sin theta. Sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta. Or we can say Cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta. And similarly, similarly, cos theta is equal to 1 upon sec theta. Or we can say sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta. This is the, funda this is the shortcut to learning this. First, remember sin cos tan. Then uh, do the reverse of this. Uh, cos theta will be b over p. Uh, sec theta will be h over b and cosec theta will be h over b. Some fundamental identities, trigonometric identities are first one is 
sin theta into cosec theta is equal to 1. The, or we can say that sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta or cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta. These are the some fundamental ideas which we have to remember. Cos theta into sec theta is equal to 1. Or we can say cos theta is equal to 1 upon sec theta or sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta. Third one is tan theta into cos theta is equal to 1 or tan theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta or cos theta is equal to 1 upon tan theta. Next is tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta and cos theta is equal to just inverse of this cos theta upon sin theta inverse or reciprocal next identity is fifth sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 6 next identity is 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to sec square theta. From this we can make that sec square theta minus 1 is equal to 10 square theta or sec square theta minus 10 square theta is equal to 1. The very next identity is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. We can make that as cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta minus 1 and uh, 1 is equal to cosec square theta minus cot square theta. These are fundamental rules or entities which we follow in trigonometry. Let us see one question based on these trigonometry identities. In this question, we have to prove that sin 8 ki power 8 theta minus cos theta 8 theta is equal to sin square theta minus cos square theta into 1 minus two sin square theta cos square theta. Taking left hand side is equal to that is sin 8 theta minus cos 8 theta. We can write it like this sin 4 theta mole square minus cos 4 theta ka whole square. Applying rule, uh, applying of a square minus b square. So we get sine 4 theta plus cos 4 theta into sine 4 theta minus cos 4 theta. Because as we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b. Here again this will be sin 4 theta plus cos 6 theta as it is this we can write sin square theta ka whole square minus cos square theta ka whole square again applying rule of a, a square minus b square in that identity we get sin square theta plus cos square theta sin square theta minus cos square theta. As we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So we replace 1 into sin square theta minus cos square theta. You see, because we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. No. Now we will this term will write before that term and this adding and subtracting plus two sine square theta cos square theta and minus two sine square theta cos square theta because we have to make this one one minus two sine square cos square theta so to get this term we are adding this and subtracting this term from the following term. So we get 
sin square theta minus cos square theta. This is the formula of a square, a square, a sin square ka whole square. That is sin square theta ka plus sorry. 